Yo, yo, what's happening community? It's your man Evilfoot again, live and direct Metro Manila. So this time around, I just wanted to provide some video footage so you guys know what it looks like here uh, as we discuss Market A replicas, uh, because there's definitely a market for that. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. Uh, follow Evil T-Shirt Club on IG uh, for the latest and greatest. Um, so yeah, this is just a general walk around. But the town that Green Hills is located in is actually called um, San Juan. And you see I'm in my anthracite. These are authentic. I always wear authentic. So here we are in Green Hills wearing my Mechazilla, only available at EvilTShirtClub.com. So go cop that. It's dope. So the first sneaker that grabbed my attention walking through the door were the Manila AJ4s. So here's what that looks like. So this is an $8,000 sneaker and uh, if you see in this panel in the top right hand corner that's directly from the display unit uh, in Jordan brand Manila. And all the sneakers that you're going to see in this Market A video, these all run about 30 bucks USD. So the Market A's are like pretty much the lowest quality that you can get. You're going to see a bunch of like uh, paint discrepancies. Uh, the color blocking overall will be pretty much close or similar. Um, the, the, um, the materials are completely off. Uh, the wings on this particular sneaker, uh, you see the paint here on this outsole. Um, the wing there, that's completely a different material um, around the ankle, the tongue, all different materials. The manila tag is stitched in upside down and then there's a number on the reverse side of the tongue uh, because they only did 150 of these. Here we have the Dunk Low Street Hawker from 2021. $550 USD sneaker, yours for the friendly price of 30 bucks USD. Dornbecker 15th anniversary. Um, none of the proceeds from the aftermarket go back to the hospital, so you wouldn't feel like a complete jerk, um, you know, from purchasing these. AJ4 undefeated 2018 sample. Um, the materials on this was like horrible, but you are talking about like a 16 to 20 thousand dollar sneaker. So the the materials on this are way off. The the heel is way off, and it looks like a sh the shoe has actually been worn before. Um, but in general, the Air Max that I saw here looked pretty cool. Travis Scott one low. This is probably the low budget sneaker of Manila. Like I see so many people just riding their motorbikes with this sneaker on and just trashing these. The materials on this are nowhere near identical to the actual uh, retail sneaker. Um, but you're talking about something, you know, that's going upwards of 1,000 USD uh, that you can buy for 30 bucks. <laughs> Another local legend. Um, but you know people are not going to spend, what, 2,500 USD just to ride, you know, their motorbikes and trash these sneakers. Uh, you see the quality here is like way off <laughs> but you know for 30 bucks you're rocking in original colorways and you know you don't care about them so I, I don't even I can't even like talk and or begin to understand why people uh, who live on a budget even want the budget version of this sneaker you know just leave it alone I will say that the, the dealer here the seller here had a horrible lighting situation going on and I understand because all of the budget sneakers look bad so I noticed with all the AJ6's um, they never come with the, the lace lock and the the um, Jordan brand, uh, the Jumpman here is just huge. He looks like he put on so much weight. Uh, the air is huge and the sneakers like they laced it super tight as you can see here, man. So I'm like, did the, the sneaker gain weight while it was sitting on shelves? Um, and on the bottom, you know, just bad. I see outsole gone wrong. So here we have the off-white Air Force One. How can you not make an Air Force One correct? Like I used to be on 52nd Street buying these like crazy, you know, knowing they were knockoffs, but you know, they were the white. So you know it was gonna get beat up in two days, so who care, right? This looks good. So you might notice that I'm giving a free pass to all $30 Air Force One, and it might just be for my own personal situation growing up but I, I cannot argue with how this Air Force One looks. I feel like the aftermarket has nailed replicating this sneaker. Look at this, like it, to me it's flawless. So sending a buyer beware for anything Travis Scott on the market A aftermarket, like it's just the materials are completely inaccurate. Um, unless you just don't care, um, this is horrible. Again, no lace lock. Another buyer beware, stay away from anything AJ11 on the market A aftermarket at least. 
So I'm doing something like a fund me for street children um, in Manila. Uh, so one US dollar buys practically one pair of sneakers for one street child in Manila. Don't be a douche. So apparently the no L's AJ1 is so rare that everyone takes L's for it. Like I, I, I freaking hate this shoe. Um, just only if they produce enough you know for everyone to really not take l's but it's just like what what what's the play here like it's just it's so corny anyway <laughs> 30 bucks you can truly not take an l and i and i really hope that people go out and buy this knockoff sneaker um for 30 bucks so you don't take an l and so nike takes the l last up is the off-white university gold midnight navy to me this sneaker looks good so i hope you have more perspective now um thanks for tuning in don't forget to like and follow peace